Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is take a look how to take a black and white image, how to take a color image and turn it into a black and white photograph. And there's a lot of different ways to do this. And I'm gonna show you all the different ways to go about doing this. So we come on up, I'm gonna just open my image. I have all of my color photographs in one folder. So I come to file, open, and I'm going to find my picture, find my picture. Where is it? Here it is. So I come file, open, and there we have it. I'm going to check my image size. Checking your resolution is always a good thing. Image, image size. Now, this is a great picture because I have a lot of pixels to work with. Now, you can see though that this, this photograph is very large. It's 34.9 megapixels. That's big. Okay, um, but when we are working with print and working with photography, if we're going to print it, we want to have a lot of pixels. Now, if we're getting it ready to show on the web, we'll lower the resolution. But let's just focus in on working with print. So we have 314 PPI pixels per inch. We are, our image is 9 by a little bit over 9 by 12. We have over 4,000 by 3,000 pixels. So what does this really mean? Well, if I come on in and I zoom in, I can see, okay, here are all of my pixels. I can come on in. Now, another a great window to work with as you're working is our navigator window. And I can see, you know, this is where I am. I can navigate through. I can zoom out. You know, and I can choose where it is that I want to zoom. The hand is also a great one. We can move around real nicely with the hand. I like the hand quite a bit. So I can say, okay, look, actually this image is just pixels. That's all it is. And we zoom on in. These are the pixels. These are the color of those pixels. We zoom on out. Again, with our navigator window, we can see exactly where we are in an image. So it's a nice window to work with. All right, we have a couple different options. I'm going to show you how to do all of these different, different things. So we come on in. We want to change this picture to a black and white. Our first option is we come on up and we open up our adjustments window. So if you don't have it open, my adjustments window is right here. If you do not see it, come to window adjustments. I'll turn it off. I'll turn it back on window adjustments. There it is. We can come on in. We can click black and white. We get this window automatically with this. We can, oopsie, we can, what can we do? Let me open that back up. Okay, so we can work with the distribution of reds. Okay, and we can see that that kind of... Hold on, let's see. I hit this twice. Let's start over. Okay, so starting over, we come, we click black and white. We have an adjustment layer. We can come on in. We can work with the distribution of reds. Actually, it's interesting. There's a lot of reds in his face. Maybe I want to darken up his face a little bit. Okay. We can work with the yellows. Okay. We see some of the yellows in the background and in his face also. The greens. Okay. The blues. We'll see a lot of the blues will be on the coat. We wanted to darken up the coats overall. What's interesting too, when we zoomed in, there were a lot of blue pixels, even, in, even though he has brown eyes there were a lot of the blue pixels. So we can come on in and, and work with these two different colors of blue and we have our magentas. Okay, and we see we have a lot of that in the mouth, in the lip area, and there we have it. So here's our first way to go about creating a black and white image. Let's take a look at another way. Again, I'm gonna to come to File, Open. I'm gonna open up this image one more time. File, Open. Actually, let's choose a different image. Why not? Let's choose this. Coca-Cola image right here. I come to file, open. There we have it. Now, I want to just take a look at the image size here because you're going to find that the image size here is much smaller. This is 72 PPI pixels per inch. This is one is ready. It's a low resolution image and it's ready for the web. So it's much less pixels, but I could also come to image mode and I could say grayscale. Now, what it's saying here, though, is discard color information. It's pretty much saying to you, are you sure you want to discard all this color information? Because once you do, you can't get it back. But we're just going to think, hey, who cares? That's fine. So we come, we hit discard. Now it is a grayscale image. If I was to compare it, what do I mean? Well, here I can still come back and get my color photo. Okay, but here 
all of that color information was discarded. It was, it was thrown out. Let's take a look at one more thing. Come to file. Let's file, open up yet another one. One of the things about working in uh, Photoshop is there's always five different ways to do the same thing. So I come to file, open. Now, this image is on its side. If I want to change that, I come to image, uh, image rotation, 90 degrees counterclockwise. And there we have it. I could also come to image adjustments. Now, once you come into here, this is yet another way to uh, create an adjustment layer, but all of your colors and such will be here. So we come to image adjustments, let's hit black and white. And again, we get that same window, we can change things around. going to do, I think there's going to be, hmm, oh, um, there we go, I'm going to darken up that background, I'm going to hit OK. Now, when we do that through there, though, we do not have, the, we have three different options. Option one, doing it through the adjustment window, and again, we get this extra layer so we can continually go back to our color image. Option two, we come to image mode grayscale and we just have the image there. Option three, we come to image adjustments, black and white, we get that window and then we, we actually um, can, what can we do? We can turn it into a black white image. But what's great about going that way is we still can come on in and work with the distribution of value on the different color channels. So I'll end there. Those are our three different ways to go about converting a black and white image into a color image.